Yes, nice. Very nice. So let's get back to the temple. Let me real quick check where, which temple we're going to go to get back to. Oh, okay. I, th that was from before I made notes, and so I haven't noted it down. But I guess it's the temple of Molagmar. Goodbye and thank you for your riddle. So we need to head back. No, we can actually just teleport to the temple. We can just teleport to the temple using the intervention. Here we go. I can't remember who gave us the quest. Yes, there is Thera Rovolov. Have you made the pilgrimage to Mount Kand? Yes, I did. I heard you defeated the Daedrat Mount Kand in a contest of riddles and received Vivek's blessings. I celebrate your success. I have other duties for you when you're ready. Well, then let us real quick. Mark the pilgrimage Mount Kant as done and add Molag Mar. So now I have an entry for the Temple of Molag Mar. And it is Ferrer Rothelof. Who gives the quest there? And he has one more duty to bring justice to necromancers. We have heard of a necromancer known as Delvan, Delvam and Darius. So who is this Delvam and Darius guy? Delvam and Darius is in Mavia, which is southeast of Molagmar. From here follow the river to the east as it heads south. It's not far before it opens into a lake. Turn east again and look for an island just south of the coast. Go there, find them, make certain that he does not escape the justice of the temple. Okay. Um, Delvan and Darius, the necromancer. And that is southeast of Molag Mar. Follow the river to the east as it heads south. Turn east at lake. Look for island just south of the coast. For some reason, the note saving doesn't work. I need to check that out uh, when the stream is over. But we're going to do this right now. Is there something I can do for you? Nope, you already did what you can do. Well, I can... No, no, actually, you don't even need it. Bad. I just I need to have something... Wait a little bit. Is less fortunate than myself. For my endurance to recover. So that there's supposed to be a river here. Can't zoom in, but I guess we will see it. I guess it is like what surrounds this, can uh, this canton-like building. There's even a ship here, so yeah. Okay, there is a guard standing in the way, so I'm going to use the other ramp. Uh, lest the guard will block our way. So, follow the river as it heads south. First we exit the city, or this place, town thing. Okay. 
So it is in this direction, supposedly. Oh, there are underworks. Maybe, of course, I should have um, went where the ship is and then, like, swam through the river. Oh, fellow Khajiit, hello. Khajiit has no words for you. Well, then I'm going to... Maybe she's just... I guess... Um, she's just sad that she doesn't have beautiful black fur like I do. Um, no, it seems like... This is not where we... The river to the east, so I guess it's yeah, the river to the east is here. So I guess we should have just gotten over. Uh, this game has what was called bunny hopping back during gaming times. It's like when you jump, you're faster than when you walk. So in um, in first-person shooters, competitional first-person shooters, people were just walking around like this because you were faster and harder to hit. And so the game started um, disabling this by first of all making you slower, and second having some kind of endurance in. Like if you take a few jumps, then you will have to catch your breath. So let's see. Go ahead. What places do they offer? Interesting. Hala Oad and Teldonora. I'm curious. So this is Teldonora. This is this is where they're Telfer. I'm just going to check if I have this Hala Oad already. If not, I'm going I'm going to ask them to bring me there and back. Because we do have the money. Just to have it on the map. Just Speak to, quickly, Outlander, or I'm go curious. away. Oh, it's ah, it's on the other side of the, the world. This is normally something I don't. Well, I don't do. I don't use fast travel when I can walk there. But I wanted to have the map mark. What do you want? So it is follow the river. The river to the east as it runs south. this really the river? Oh yes, you can see it here. This is the river to the east and it runs south. So we're following. And it looks like it's around here. So there's a slaughter fish here. He's going to have his last wish fulfilled. It's more than one starfish, though. You know what? They all get their last wishes fulfilled. There is one more. I just need to see it. There it is. That's a small one. Starfish, and we get the scales from them. Follow the river as it turns south, which is here. Now we cross up over to the other side, I guess. Let me just say. Cross over to the other side because we can walk there. Here, and we find some um, collops. Okay, they have pearls inside. Interesting. Even the small ones are pearls inside. Let's catch some breath and get back up. That's neat. And I'm going to also get more ingredients from the mud crabs. Could and should have used my magic, but oh, by the way, because I'm, I'm a fire mage, I should use that f first and foremost. But nonetheless, we can heal until rest until healed. So we're heading to the south. 
out. Training invent uh, inventory, training alchemy by collecting stuff. Also, since it's said to turn east again, when the river turns into a lake, we are on the right side of the riverbank. There. Salt rise. And this is nothing I can harvest. Okay. <laughs> marshmallows, uh, marshmallows. Okay. So there is a cave thing here, but we were supposed to go. <laughs> and look for an island just south of the coast. And our destruction skill increased, which means we can wield stronger spells. And another Amazon package is going to arrive soon, my cell phone just said. Here we go, into the water, getting the crash fibers. First, doing the fight. Those annoying creatures. There we go. Ah, way better to see when it's day daylight outside. So, I wanted to check what Crash Fire actually does. So the crab meat does restore fatigue. Okay, yeah. Restore luck, fortify personality. Oh, the marshmallow is a restore health. That's good. Detect enchantment. I guess this will re uh, render some cloud around enchanted items in the world. Detect key. Oh, this is interesting. Restore fatigue. Well, we'll see what we can do with all that. I think the pearls I should rather sell. And I guess this is where the river turns into a lake. And we should have headed east. And find them on an island just south of the coast. And I guess just south of the coast could be this island over here, because there is something in here. So let me kill off the reds and then head over to this island and see if this is where we were sent to go. Oh, perfect, this is even... That's not a red, this was a mud crab, this is even better. Where the official entrance is. Nice. Could be that this is um, fellow Telvani, then I need to hold off on the temple quest. Or, well, to be honest, I'm allowed to kill Telvanis. If I'm not mistaken, the Telvani guild does not. They say if. if at least if I steal something. I have to check the, the rules of the Telvani guild, but I think it was... My magic doesn't work underwater, so I need to do this. Um, if I 
steal from a fellow Giovanni, at least I'm not going to be punished if I survive, so... I can save and kill them and just check if I'm going to be expelled from Giovanni. The Mage Guild would also like, like me killing... Um, black Mages. Sorry, I need to concentrate on where to aim to actually collect this stuff. This is Mavia, this is exactly where we were supposed to go. Necromancer, that was the word I was looking for. Um... Okay, I should load the quick save and try using the sword or attacking them from afar. And not fighting with multiple people at once. There is her rest to heal. So there was a bone lord over there. That one is dead. Just recharge our magicka. I'm out one at a time. Pretty sure that the necromancer, like game mechanic wise, won't uh, won't even notice that the bone lord is gone because they will just be stuck in their one room. Us and I didn't get a message that he did. Okay, this target resists the magic, which is obvious because it's poison magic. I can't rest here, enemies are nearby. Another one of these annoying creatures. There could be that the. No, not Firebite, Fireball. It could be that the um, Skeleton Warrior actually is. Um, has troubles with fire magic, so I'm going to. I'm going to die. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we need better shield. Ah, yeah, that was right. We really quickly rested. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if there is a shield thing. Shield, five points, of course, isn't that strong. could summon a bone walker. Well that would be interesting if I think the bone walker would be fighting too slow, so I would be killed anyway. So I'm going to try the shield. Even if it's just five points, it means five points off of any damage that I get. Mm, I could even use the paralysis spell. Yeah. I'm 
now back to paralysis. Okay, I should should not have um, switched to the weapon when it said target resisted magic. I should have paid more attention to what the thing said. But that did work. Combination with paralysis. are gone. There's still some enemies left. I want to see what's done here. So they are patrolling over up, up here. They are patrolling there. So I'm going to check what's down here. So there's just the dead body. I've been detected, but the Bone Lord can't get me. So I'm going to try to cast Fireball from here. Because I set it to have an AoE effect. Uh, yeah, no. That's a dead body with Viper Cleaver. Interesting. I'm going to take that stuff. And now he's here. And I don't have the magic damage spell anymore. What did I get? Damage speed. And I can restore health. I can do restore magicka and restore health. Now I can actually use the fire bite. I forgot that I have potions to restore my magicka, to be honest. Yeah, that was the one over here. Okay, I can't rest because enemies are nearby, obviously, so I'm going to head out outside and rest again. Pressing the right buttons is important if you want to do something. There we go. And back inside we go. With our fireball. So in, in uh, later games, the game will show me when I'm spotted. In this game, it doesn't. It just shows me here. Sneak mode is on. And this should actually go away when I'm spotted, but it didn't. Which, of course, is more realistic. If you sneak, you don't know if you're spotted. You only know by the response of your... Like, if people act on seeing you. If they act as if they don't saw you on purpose, you would think you were still hidden. So this actually is a more realistic game mechanic. Okay, so there's a door that is trapped. But it should still have a probe. It was F, I think. I was disarmed and the bro probe died on me. But I have the fireball equipped. And there is a bone walker. Which permanently damages the strength, which is very annoying. Especially since I don't have a restore. I should. should find something to restore strength. Like a spell for that, I think. I do have a fortify sneak skill thing though, and chameleon. Maybe I should also try using that one. It 
see my strength is now down to 21 and, I'm, and I basically I need to drop nearly everything just to get it back up. Mm. Which sucks a lot. Load. I should have checked if I have, um, if I can make a potion, but I assume that when I entered STR in the search bar, it shows, also shows me, let me see if I enter a DIS. No, it only searches by name. Okay. So I should have checked if I can make a restore strength potion. Let me see if I can do that. Nope, I can't. Telekinesis, Fortify Magicka, Fortify Personality. Nope. Nothing that can help me here. Um, I already did a quick save. I was kind of stupid. So I'm not using my power right now. I try to get around him. Let me see if I can get on the other side. Um, no, this is as I said. As I thought, this is closed up, and there he is. So he's not walking around. The reason why I'm doing this is because it's only for thirty seconds. And select my fire. I think it's too early again. 30 seconds are over too quickly. Oh, just hoping that he doesn't see me so I can fireball him before he reaches me and can. Oh, yeah. And there, there goes my power. So now my sneak skill is no longer fortified. But this is what I wanted to do, only with uh, the Bonewalker being surprised. Still can't, yeah, still can't rest inside here because there are still enemies nearby. So I'm just going to walk back out and heal there. Because I want to save up on po Well, on the other hand, to be honest, I mean, why do I have the potions in the first place, right? I don't need to run back and forth all the time. So there we go, Restore Magicka and Restore Fatigue. This should be enough for one, for at least one fireball. Let's save so we can if we get into a pinch, we can get out again. So I'm curious where that guy came from. So I'm going to go here. And this goes up even further. Okay, so I want to first get into here. Door is still trapped. We only have two tries left. Which sucks. And there we go. Disarming the trap failed. But maybe we also got um second. Uh, yeah. Let's do a drop a quick save and check the trap. And it's burden for 8 seconds, so we just need to wait 8 seconds. And there we go, the burden is over, we have our full... So there's a holding cell with a bone walker in it. And another trap door, so I'm going to 
stay out there. So this crate is forbidden to use. Okay. That that um, trap was not that bad. I mean, yes, I could not move that, uh, couldn't walk, wouldn't have been able to walk that is. But on the other hand, I just waited it out. And now I guess this is where the where the necromancer hides. You in going to let him kill me and then reload the game. Um, what was that? What kind of damage was that? It didn't look like a fireball. I should check um, what kind of status effect it gives me. And I hit the table with my fireball, which also was very inconvenient. I guess it was just got some kind of leech, a leech effect. Leech life, something like that. Okay, he's very strong. Or very fire resistant. Let's see if he's also resistant against that one. <coughs> No, it's not. And that was the guy we were supposed to kill. Okay. Just take everything. Ring of Regeneration. Interesting. So we have health restoration on a ring now. And we have... This stuff is still owned. That's... I'm just, I'm going to steal it anyway, because the guy is gone now. But also, I want to add this to our story time list, obviously. Story time. It is blasphemous. Revenants. Revenants. There. And this book we already read, if I'm not uh, mistaken. It is not on the list anymore. I think we have it twice now. No, we don't. But I'm not going to read it out anyway because it is written in Dwarven or Goblin or something. And we're over encumbered. So we're just going to throw away this common stuff here. Robe. Oh no, we're no longer over encumbered. Which means I can simply I can use yeah, I can use the bed to Well, yeah, I could use the bed. But I can use Mark. If I had Magicka. I could use Mark. And then teleport to the temple and get get stuff sold and then get back to loot the rest of this part. Of course, we can already return the quest. Is there something you need? Is the necromancer Delvam and Darius no longer a threat to the temple? Yeah, they aren't. Delvam and Darius is dead. You have done the temple a great service. When you are ready, I have more urgent duties for you. Speak with me again when you've gained the rank of the curate. I will have more duties for you then. Okay, so the temple says. So that one is done. And get duties from Therer is so so to say the next 
quest in Molokmar. But let's call it that. But um, I do need a temple exactly. Advancements in the temple are get rank of curate. And this is what I need in order to get more duties from Therer. There we go. Ah, Farer actually was his name. Well, then let me correct that there. And I could ask Tools Valen Aldrun. Let me real quick add those two. Tools Valen Aldrun. Tools Valen. Because then I have the um, ask for duties. Temple. Yeah, this is this is a thing that takes a little, little bit of time. And Endrin Lolethan in Vivek. Okay. In Vivek. As you can see, this is the temple in Vivek, um, where we also can get the ordinators that were killed as a quest, for example. for duties in the temple in Vivek. There we go. So let's ask about them. I brought the temple's justice. And what about Lette? You have cured Lette. Well done. What about Molakmar? This is the stronghold of Molakmar. It is a garrison maintained by the tribunal temple and house Redoran. Many come here to rest before making the dangerous pilgrimages to Mount Kant and Mount Asar Nibibi. What's about your background? I am Thera Rothalov, monk and master of the temple. What can you tell me about the ghost fence? Nothing can pass through the ghost fence except at Ghost Gate. Ghost Gate is guarded by ordinators and buoyant armagers at the Tower of Dawn and the Tower of Dusk. Can you tell me a little secret? Don't be in such a hurry when traveling. Take your time, keep your eyes open, learn from your experiences. You're on the road to learn about yourself and the world around you. Can you tell me something about the region of Moor? Moor is the rocky, uninhabited wilderness interior of south, interior of southeastern Varnfell. Molagmar is the only settlement and it's more of a fortress than a village. Pilgrims come here to visit Mount Kant and Mount Asarnibibi, but they can't travel without well-equipped, heavily armed escorts. There are no paths, and ravines, ridges, and lava pools make it impossible to travel straight over land. And, if you get in trouble, you're on your own. Can you tell me something about more, more about the lore of Morrowind? Three cultures live on Vardenfell. The nomadic Ashlanders, the settled house Dunmer, and the Western Imperial colonists of all races. And what's your trade? I'm a monk, in mind and spirit. I'm a student of the hidden mysteries of the unseen world that lies behind the objects and ideas of 
everyday life. In body, I'm a student of the ancient martial arts, patterned on the reign of sand fighting styles of elsewhere. Hey, that's where I am from. I pursue hand-to-hand -hand and unarmored self-defense, because what you don't have, you cannot lose. I also train with the blunt weapon weapons called staves, because even the poorest peasant can own a staff. To earn my keep, I train others in my skills. Cool, let's see. What's your rank, knighty? No, sorry. Later, maybe perhaps when you're a higher rank, but not now. Well, that's that. Thank you.